Hey, what's up guys? Ryan Ank with Cashflow Dad Life. And today I want to talk to you guys about the number one mistake that I see new real estate investors making. And that is that they don't consider themselves a real estate investor. So when they're approaching a motivated seller or they're approaching a, a potential cash partner or they're approaching a bank, uh, they're saying things like, if, if they are asked what they do, they say, well, I'm, I'm kind of new to this or I'm just getting started. Don't say that, okay? Uh, you need to change your identity and start calling yourself a real estate investor. The problem I think that a lot of people have with that is that we live in this culture where everything is degrees, certifications. You know, if you're gonna be a doctor or a nurse or, you know, or a lawyer, you need to have a certain degree. And that is your proof that you have the knowledge that you say you have. Now, in the world of real estate, in the world of entrepreneurship and business and investor, there is no degree, you know, that says that uh, I'm an official experienced investor. It's, it's more of an experience level. Um, so you have to think of it more of like a soccer player. When are you considered a soccer player? You know, when you're four years old and your parents put, you know, a jersey on you and throw you out on the practice field, you're considered a soccer player. You don't have to be playing in the MLS or for your, your world international team in order to be considered a soccer player. It's the same way with real estate. As soon as you start educating yourself on how to invest and how to execute different deals, then you are a real estate investor. Now, you might be new, but you don't need to tell everybody about your experience. And the difference is how you identify yourself will be the difference between whether or not you get deals. I've been part of uh, deals where I have uh, helped uh, a guy put together both the cash buyer and the build to suit partner and we're sitting at the table and they said, okay, well, what's, what's your experience with this? Okay, and all he had to say was, well, I'm a real estate investor and the phase I'm in right now is I'm looking to uh, put the capital together to execute this deal. And he, instead, he said, well, I'm just getting started with this and I'm new to this and that killed the deal right there. But my full-time job is as an operator. I mean, you can't, you've got to say that you're a real estate investor. You know, and I had the same uh, problem when I first got started is that I was telling people that I was new with it, but the first deal I got was a creatively financed deal. I bought a multifamily property. And I remember specifically the owner and the realtor asked me, well, what's your experience with this? And I said, well, I'm a real estate investor. And I said, well, do you have any, uh, do you have any experience managing properties? And I say, I, I don't do that. I, I focus on man or finding the deals and I have a property manager that manages the properties for me so that I can focus on what I'm good at. So if you are able to at least demonstrate a level of knowledge about real estate and real estate investing, that is the only proof that you need to give other people that you are who you say you are and you are a real estate investor. So if you're first getting started and you're having trouble getting deals, it's probably because you have limited the way that you think about yourself and the way you identify yourself, you need to put on that cape. <laughs> you know, you got to put on that, that Superman cape and believe that you can fly, you know. Um, you've, you've got to start identifying as a real estate investor. If you've got to stand in the mirror 10 times a day and say, I am a real estate investor, I am a real estate investor, then do that. You know, I don't know if you watched that old movie, uh, Cool Runnings, where uh, the guy stands in front of the mirror and says, I see pride, I see power. You know, you need to do the same thing. Go in front of the mirror, do whatever it takes so that when you get in front of a motivated seller, you can say, I'm a real estate investor and what I do is I help people out of the situation that you're in. When you get in front of a cash um, partner, you can say, I'm a real estate investor and right now I'm looking to raise some funds for this deal at this percentage and this equity. Uh, when you get in front of a bank, you can say, I'm a real estate investor and right now I'm looking to leverage uh, some bank financing to acquire properties. Okay, all you need to do is identify as a real estate investor and demonstrate some form or fashion of knowledge of what you're doing. All right, I hope that helps. I hope that helps you guys get started. If you need more uh, tips and tricks and advice, please subscribe to the channel. 
And also, if you need help getting started as a real estate investor, what I specialize in is I help people quit their job in 12 months or less using a scalable real estate investing strategy. If you're interested in learning on how I can help you do that, go to cashflowdadlife.com. My name is Ryan Ake, and I'll see you later.